Hi guys, Steve here. This time we'll go through how to sign up for accounts and how to autofill our data. We have two options here. We've got sign up for accounts and create links. The way I use this is to actually sign up for accounts themselves but don't drop a link at the time of sign up and leave the account for six to ten days and then go back and create your links. What I will do, I will go through and create a link on sign up and I will create a link sorry I will create a sign up as I would normally do this process then come back to the create links to see which sites I've signed up for but I haven't actually created links on so let's begin in the account sign up page we choose our website which is Steve test load the website let's choose our link group load it and for this we will choose Diego and e Academy dot com then we choose sign up for selected sites within the screen we have a number of options we have got the buttons themselves, move back a site, refresh the site if the site times out or something similar, navigate to next site, moves us to the next site and depending on what we've actually clicked between these three tick boxes a particular action will occur. If we create our link while we create our sign up we must click one way link create on sign up and this link will not be shown when we go to find our sites that we've only signed up for and not created links on. If we come across a website that's been removed or a site that we no longer want to sign up for from our list, we click mark website as dead, click navigate to next site and the site is deleted from our list. You can, you can re-import the site if needed. The current URL not working may be at the time you're doing your signups the site is filling the load or as happens with some of Angela's links the site has disabled registrations for maybe three to four weeks but it's a site you can, you can actually come back to maybe a month's time or so on the bottom we have add URLs to SIG or BIO so when we do an autofill it adds our URLs and anchor text which is spun in either BB code, HTML code format or textile code format. I will leave this ticked. We have three other buttons autofill which autofills our data, spin URL if you wish to respin your anchor text and URL, you click this and it gets spun. Note the anchor text and URL spins automatically every time you navigate to the next site. Add current URL to RSS. We use this when we've created our link and we are on our publicly, publicly viewable page with our link on. We click this and it adds the profile page link to our RSS feed table and our profiles table which we can create RSS feeds off and export a file. So let's have a look at the other options we have. If we right click the menu we can see we have a number of options as well. Autofill, save current profile URL spin URL and anchor text which is the same as on the bottom of the screen. 
The other fields is text we can insert within fields themselves. For example, if I click in the search box, full name, a piece in the full name, email, you get the idea. Let's sign up. Join Diego. Note that the buttons are greyed out when it's navigating between sites. As you can see on this page, we need username, first name, last name, email. We simply right click the mouse, auto fill, and all of the fields are filled in of our profile data. We need to add in the capture code and I don't want site updates. Continue. Let's make that gmail.com. And add these back in. Wonderful captures. As we can see, we sent an email to angelofunk.gmail.com to verify your account. If we wish to verify account straight away, we can click verify Gmail or Gmail pops up. And we simply sign in. As we can see, activate our account. And it's been activated. Simply close that. If you wish to drop links at a later time, I would simply move to the next site and carry on doing the signups. What we'll do, we will actually log in. As you can see, we click sign in. So for Diego, we will create a link after the login just to show an example. So you can either do an autofill or just add the URL, site URL. We'll actually add in our keywords. Then add new bookmark. And the page we're on, we will actually save this to current profile URL. And that's our profile link saved. We will click one way link created on sign up so this doesn't show up. Navigate to the next site. And that's just done. Our next site, eAcademy, we will create an account but not drop the link. So we'll autofill all our details and click, click, join now. As you can see, this side, the account's been created and they will send a confirmation code which sometimes can take up to an hour to receive, so we will simply move on to the next site. Note I've not clicked any of the sites themselves. Navigate to next site. This means I've actually completed my signups and this is the end of the list. If we exit the screen, we can see that the links we've signed up for which is 
recorded when we click navigate navigate to next site have been highlighted in red and the other sites have been selected that is how we sign up to our sites and create our accounts